Hey guys, Ben here from the COE in Rifle Colorado to provide a few tips on using an Android device for TAC. Android users can use TAC within just a few minutes of training, but on the other hand, long-time iPhone users have a little steeper learning curve using TAC as they're also learning a new operating system because TAC only functions at its best capability right now in the Android platform. So we made this video to help ease your transition into Android. The first thing to know is that at least for Samsung devices, the power and volume buttons work just the same as an iPhone. A long press will turn the phone on and a short press will either wake the screen up or turn the screen back to black. Next, the volume buttons are the top two on the left side of your phone. The third mystery button below summons Bixby, which is Samsung's version of Siri or Google Assistant. I've disabled the button and recommend you do the same as inadvertent presses can become really annoying. An internet search can instruct you on how to do this in a couple of minutes. Most cache phones are set without a screen passcode, so you can simply swipe up to open any apps you're wanting to use. Hopefully, your phone will have the most used apps on your home screen. You can scroll right and left to see the options. On Samsung phones, if you swipe from left to right, you'll summon Bixby again. Use the arrow key to make it stop. Most home screens will have a gray button with white dots on it. That will get you to many of your aftermarket apps, the ones you installed rather than just Samsung's. At the bottom of the screen, there are three icons. One has vertical lines, a square, and a back arrow key. The three vertical lines, or french fries, functions like a partial swipe on a new iPhone, or a double press of the home key on an old one. It minimizes the current app and lets you see and switch between all open apps. You can also swipe away apps through this mode. The square button is just like an old iPhone home button. It sends you back to your home screen. It doesn't close anything out, so be aware that you have to use the french fries if you want to close things away. Now the back arrow key is the rock star of Android buttons. Apple doesn't have anything like it. It's especially useful within an app that has many internal op options like tack. It's basically an escape key. If you accidentally click on something, you can just back right out of it with the arrow key. Even if you have a clicking frenzy and get deep into the far reaches of some strange setting, use the arrow key a bunch of times, you'll be glad you did. To finish up, French Fries shows all the apps you have open, Square takes you home, and the arrow gets you out of a jam. Have fun, TAC friends.